I'm Keith Knutson. I work on development and implementation of cancer vaccines for breast and ovarian cancers. A cancer vaccine is much like a, an infectious disease vaccine. We typically give those to individuals an infectious disease vaccine to stimulate immune responses to provide protection from uh, you know, the disease, whatever the disease is that you're being immunized against. I guess the great example that we have right now is a COVID vaccine. So you're given a COVID vaccine in order to stimulate antibodies and T cells against various proteins that are present in the COVID virus. And as a result, when you become exposed to the virus, you will immediately block it and prevent it from entering into your cells and causing a disease. Cancer vaccines, very similarly, are aimed at generating immune responses against cancer. There's two types of cancer vaccines in general, ones that are aimed at a, an infectious disease type uh, antigen or protein, and the others are at proteins that are normally expressed in the body but are overexpressed at high levels or are mutated. So there's different ways that we can approach cancer vaccination. Most of the cancer vaccines that we have been working with have been targeting aberrantly expressed proteins. What that means is proteins that are either uh, expressed at very high levels and they look foreign to the immune system or are mutated in such a way that the immune system doesn't recognize them as being part of yourself. So a cancer vaccine theoretically can be better than a chemotherapy because it's, it's targeted, it's highly targeted. So when you generate antibodies or T cells against those antigens or proteins that are on the cancer, they're very specific. They don't target other parts of the body. Whereas chemotherapies and other types of therapies that we use for cancer don't have that level of specificity. And as a result, they can result in adverse effects in other tissues in the body that we typically see with chemotherapies, such as people losing their hair or having other problems. We have several ongoing studies and st several in the, in the pipeline. So the current studies that we have going are phase two clinical trials testing in triple negative breast cancer a vaccine targeting a protein that's called the folate receptor alpha. And that's typically very highly expressed in triple negative breast cancer. And then we also have a vaccine for HER2 new positive breast cancer. And that is very similar to the folate receptor for triple negative breast cancer in that it targets a specific protein that is overexpressed in that particular cancer. We also have vaccines for uh, treating ductal carcinoma in situ, an early pre-malignant form of breast cancer. And we're giving that to individuals prior to normal therapy in order to induce an immune response to see if that shrinks the, the tumor and whether or not it can provide lasting protection from recurrence in those individuals. And then finally, and but there's more in the works, Finally, we have a trial that's being developed right now testing a brand new prevention vaccine for breast cancer. And what I mean by prevention is, just as it sounds, we're gonna be ultimately giving this to individuals that have had no cancer, no breast cancer, and the hope is that we will be able to prevent them from getting breast cancer to begin with. Because ultimately, the goal of the strategies that we're developing is to prevent the development of metastatic disease in these individuals.